Hey YouTube, is Alan here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a theory for you. This theory is something I'm surprised nobody, nobody on YouTube is talking about. And that theory is a connection between Venom, Let There Be Carnage, the ending of the Loki series with Kang, as well as the Thor, Love and Thunder, right? Because the main villain, the main villain in Thor, Love and Thunder is Gore the God Butcher, right? Played by Christian Bale. And the main villain in Venom, Let There Be Carnage, is, of course, Cletus Cassidy Carnage. Now, what is the main connection between those two characters? Gore the God Butcher and Carnage. Come on, I'll wait. It's none other than Null. Null is the connection between both of those movies, both of those villains, right? Think about it. In the recent year, the recent two years, the biggest event in Marvel was the King in Black. Now, the King in Black story is basically about Null making his way to Earth. And on his way to Earth, he's conquering every planet on his, in his path. And when he gets there, his whole goal is basically to kill Dylan, which is Eddie Brock's son, right? But there's events that's laid out through Marvel that leads up to that point. And one of those major events that leads up to that point is the story of Absolute Carnage. Now, Absolute Carnage is when Cletus Cassidy is reborn by his cult. And when he is reborn, he is trying his best to build his own symbiote army. He is trying to replace the King in Black. He is trying to become the new god of the symbiote by using the Grendel and stuff like that. But before he can do so, Venom, Eddie Brock's Venom, was able to stop him and, you know, kill him and, you know, stop him from calling Null. But by killing him, he himself inadvertently called Null to the planet Earth. And one of the reasons why I think that is going to happen in this story, in this movie is because there's a scene inside the um, trailer where you see Cletus Cassidy inside of a church. Now that church can be tied to what Cletus Cassidy was doing in the comics when he was trying to build his own cult. Hence why in that scene you see Cletus Cassidy in that church, right? Now, how does Absolute Carnage tie into Thor Love and Thunder? I'm going to tell you. Thor Love and Thunder, the main villain in that story is Gore the God Butcher. Now Gore the God Butcher has a weapon. And that's, that weapon is called the Necro Sword. Now, the Necro Sword, the Necro Blade, that weapon belonged to none other than Null, which was the very same person that Venom in Carnage story was trying to summon, right? Carnage was trying to summon Null. So my prediction goes like this. Because of the end of Loki, the multiverse is now open. Now, we also have information that Tom Holland and Peter Parker will be making an appearance in one of the Venom movies down the line. Right. So is it too hard to believe that Venom will eventually make an appearance inside the MCU, considering Kevin Feige already hinted about that earlier this year? And what is the best way to bring Venom into the MCU? And that is through a uh, overarching arc. Right. It's through a huge story. A huge event has to happen. And with King the Conqueror opening up the multiverse, we have the perfect opportunity to bring Sony characters into the MCU for a huge event. And this event could be none other than the King in Black. Because Null has ties to both Thor as well as Venom. Now, let that sink in for a minute. How hyped would you be to see Null, Null in the MCU? Everybody is so focused on Kang. Everybody's thinking of Secret War, Secret Invasion, everything else. But the King in Black story is building right in front of us and nobody's seeing it. Like, I've been looking on Reddit. I've been looking everywhere. I've been listening to other YouTubers. And it's just like, why is nobody bringing up Null? No, no, no. Null is a beast. Null, if you read, if you read comic books, you know who Null is at this point. Null was able to rip the century, the century in half. Like, just boom, dead. Null was able to turn Celestials, right? Celestials into symbiotes. He was able to put symbiotes on Celestials and control them. This story is completely bonkers, right? And a good way for this to, to end is to have Eddie Brock do exactly what he do in the comic and take his place as the King in Black. Now, with that said, let me know what you think about my theory. This theory was something I was thinking about since I saw the trailer, since I saw Carnage, and since I saw the set leaks of Christian Bale in his um, full getup, I was thinking, how is nobody seeing this connection? This connection is crazy. I think this could be a way for Sony in the MCU to cross over in a major event. Because in the King Black story, 
the entire world, the entire universe is involved in this. Everybody from Captain America, from Thor to Storm to the X-Men to everybody. Now, do I think it's going to be as grand as it is in the comic books? No, I don't think so. Because we don't have all the characters necessary for that. And we don't have all the characters to their heightened points as they are in the comics, right? We don't have the OP overpowered Thor. We don't have um, high, um, the Sentry yet. We don't have the Sentry yet. So some of those events can't play out. We don't have the X-Men yet. But we can lay some more Easter eggs throughout the MCU moving forward in order to build up to that point. And I think the fans, everybody will absolutely love this. And Rob, Comics Explained, please watch this video. I think you will love this theory. I really think you will love this theory, right? So with that said, everybody, please leave a comment down below. Um, if you've ever seen Comics Explained, please share this video with Rob if you, on Twitter or whatever, if you can. And let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with what I'm thinking, right? And with that said, do the three great things. Like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good one. Bye.